These are all the legendary sniper skins ranked from worst to best. The LQ Advanced Artillery is the worst legendary sniper skin of all time. Even though the annoying switching sound has already been removed, it feels clunky and the design language is not for snipers. NA45 comes second to the worst. I mean, who likes NA45 in general anyways? SVD Toxicant looks like an epic skin with kill effect. Not my vibe. Same with the Outlaw High Noon. The kill effect is probably the worst among all the legendary snipers. Logos Electron belongs to the below average class. The kill effect looks amazing, don't get me wrong, and the design isn't that really bad. But I'm not a fan of TV scopes. Arctic 50 Foxfire looks like a sniper skin with a stove, but the kill effect and sound design of it is probably one of the best if not the best among legendary snipers. And now we enter the club of the best of the best legendary sniper skins. The worst of the best has to be the Locust Neptune. I love the design of the sniper. The only main flaw about it is the scope. It looks like a goggles. I might get cancelled for this, but DLQ Holidays is kinda overrated. Don't get me wrong, it's still good skin but it's certainly not the best. The design is kind of outdated to the standards and the so-called pay-to-win scope in animation is really not pay-to-win as it feels clunky. Arctic 50 Zodiac Beast is one of those skins that will make you question if Call of Duty Mobile is really a mobile game. Everything about it is amazing, the design, the sound and kill effect, and it looks so good with Diamond Camo. But in my opinion, DLQ Zealot is the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. It's no question why this skin is one of the most popular sniper skins in the game. It's a masterpiece. The scope and animation isn't clunky, it looks good in diamond, it's absolutely worth the money because for sure, they're gonna use this skin in the long run since Call of Duty Mobile has no plans of nerfing the DLQ sniper.